So guys, these were all the questions which you guys asked me, and I hope I have covered all. So guys, these were the questions which you guys asked. So guys, these were the questions which you guys asked me. So guys, these were the questions which you guys asked me. Hello guys, welcome back to yet another Q&A session. First of all, I would like to apologize because yesterday I wasn't able to post a Sunday Q&A episode due to some reason. Instead of skipping this video, we thought let's do it on Monday and release the video because this time we have got quite good response. We had almost 50 to 60 questions and I'll try to take every question in this video which you guys have asked us on the community post. So if you guys are new to this channel and if you like a content, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. Now let's not waste much of time and start with the first question. So the first question is from Naman who is asking how are you sir and where are you from? By the way, thanks for asking brother, I'm good. I'm basically from Haryana but I stay in Bangalore. Second question, how many phones you have? So I have approximate 13, 14 phones right now. Last question, if we reset a phone or clear OnePlus 11 battery app data, is our battery health percentage changed to 100%? No, that won't change. Battery health will never increase until you replace the battery. And sure brother, if I'm coming to Kolkata, I'll get in touch with you. Second question is from Aryan who is asking about a suggestion regarding upgrade to OnePlus 11 from Reno 6 Pro. I mean 11R because he's getting that device at 30K. Look, instead of 11R, I will suggest you 12R. Kahin na kahin thode discounts laga ke, aapko device 33, 34,000. 11R is a phone, hai, but 12R new bhi hai and it is better. Bhi hai kafi mein. Then Jaya wants a detailed comparison between GT60 versus Poco F6, also Realme UI versus Hyper OS UI. So I'll do a video on that. I think 29th of this month, Poco sale will start and I'll place the order of that device and we'll do detailed comparison, including hardware and software also. Mohammed has a question. My Q is, how are you? My A is, I'm good brother. Thanks for asking. Pankaj is asking about, is there any way to get the locks in customization on OnePlus smartphones like without Android or without root? Currently, there are no options to do that. But stay tuned. Recently, I saw a change logs, I think of OnePlus 12 in China with 14.1 we will get to see locks in customization. Then Shiva says, Bhai, OnePlus 7 series and in general, overall OnePlus ke software mein lock screen kab aayegi? Jaise mainne bataya, lock screen 14.1 se aayegi, but aur zada implementation hume Android 15 mein dekhne ko mil sakti hai. And jo ye screenshot ki baat jo aap kar rahe ho, ye hume bhi aaya tha, and ye sahi ye actual news hai ye, hume wo lock screen customization dekhne ko milengi OnePlus mein with that depth effect and other stuff. Then Mohan says, Hello Grove, can we expect compact phones like S24 from OnePlus and nothing? See, nothing might release, but I'm doubtful about OnePlus and you have also asked like S24 or iPhone 15 so right now if you take software in consideration go with the S24 because you get all the AI features which are yet to come on iPhones if you're more into videography and you know gaming then go with iPhone 15 then Ankur is asking about uh, nothing OS 3.0 release see right now we don't have any kind of information about it but soon if we get any information I'll keep you guys updated then Nitesh is asking about wired headphone is best or neckband headphones is best or TW See, I would say right now go with TWS and uh, for music, I can suggest you a few TWS. One is this Boat Airpods 170, second one is Realme Buds T300 and the third one is OnePlus Buds 3. So these are three good options which you can choose from and they do have good music output. Then second question is from Arman who is saying OnePlus 12 make a new video on it which covers all the things. Also when will Android 15 be released for OnePlus and will it bring any camera changes? Yes, camera improvements we might see but don't expect too much. 512 GB storage I won't recommend if you use cloud services. And yes, it's a good device. You can use it for performance also, gaming, camera, camera is also good along with the video recording also. And full in-depth review I'll be dropping soon. I'm just waiting for one update. If that update comes, I'll start testing that device and will release a full video. Improvisor is asking about the review of OnePlus 11, the latest build. I've already released that update. Do check it out. I'll link that video in the description below. And in Realme GT 60, there are some new features. Will those features also comes to Oxygen OS? And yes, it's the same family, so they might add these features with the upcoming updates. Then another user had a question like related to OnePlus 11 series. He's not received OTA and he don't want to update using Oxygen OS updater. See, we can't say you when you'll receive the update via OTA because sometimes it do takes a lot of time but oxygen os updater is a safe app they just add the links over there files are downloaded from oneplus server directly only another question is like i bought oneplus 11 just 10 days ago i updated device simultaneously like four to five updates should i reset the device see it's not recommended resetting the device after every update or after three four updates but it's always recommended to reset the device once if there is an android version change then pranesh is asking about android 15 beta for oneplus 12 r and the expected features. See, expected features mostly we'll get to see AI features with Android 15 and some locks in customization. Talking about the release date, see, release date 
Mostly within two to three months, we'll start seeing Android 15 beta builds. James Bond says, are Realme phones getting any new Oppo slash OnePlus features like new animations? Yes, new animation. I think the device which they have released, Realme GT, that do have the new animation engine, but I'm not sure about other Realme devices. Suyak says, bro, please talk about iQ12 and FunTouch OS updates. See, iQ doesn't release much of updates. That's the reason I'm not covering. But still, let's wait for a new update. And whenever the update drops, I'll do a video on it also. Then Akshat says, whether 9R will also get the new animation engine or not. See, I'm not sure about 9R. What I feel is, devices starting from 10 series will only get these animation changes. Other device, I'm doubtful. But still, if I get any news, I'll keep you guys posted. Then Arnav says, after the new SOTA update, the clock widget doesn't seem to be working. See, I did test out, I saw your comment and you know, on my OnePlus 10 Pro, we received the SOTA update. On that, there is an issue with the widgets, but all the widgets are working fine. The only problem is in the widget section. So you can see I have applied few widgets here, clock widgets, and all the widgets works properly. But if I go to widget section, you can see this is how widgets appear in the widget section. So there might be a bug layer to widgets. Hopefully they should fix it with the upcoming builds. Then Somesh is asking about best Android customized OS consa hai. See, stock OS ki baat karo to fun touch mein bhi aapko kaafi customization option dekhne ko milte hai. And even hello UI mein bhi aapko kaafi zada customization dekhne ko milte hai. Then Krishna says, bhai, even after the latest update in OnePlus 11, unable to take videos from telephoto lens. And when will OnePlus 11 get AI eraser this month or with Android 15? See, AI eraser in the stock gallery application, we might get to see with the May update. And talking about the ultra wide video recording, I don't think so that option was available on OnePlus 11 before the update. If you know that, just keep me updated. As far as I remember, ultra wide video recording option was not available on OnePlus 11. Then Roshan has the question, uh, will other Android phones like Nothing Phone 2A get circle to search feature by the end of 2024? Yes, Nothing Phones might get that feature like circle to search. Rishabh says, Nothing Phone 2A may 5 to 6 hours SOT mil raha hai, kya ye normal hai? Yes, bilkul normal hai, summers ke hisab se kaafi achha screen on time hai. Then Ankit says, I am very disappointed with OnePlus, the newly launched Realme GT 60 comes with the same new gen animation that OnePlus are giving. Even OnePlus did not give this update to their phones till now and seeing a 25k phone coming with the same thing, they have to make some exclusive things to OnePlus devices. See these features, no, the animation engine, they don't require that much of power. So right now almost all the devices which, which has that ColorOS code base, you consider Oxygen, you consider Realme UI or even the ColorOS itself. Realme GT is a new phone. I think after two years, they got back the GT series. So yes, they'll do their best to make OS fluid. The next question is, sir, I have OnePlus 11R and my priority is camera and little bit of gaming. So can you suggest me any custom room that can provide me customization because I love customization. See customization, if you go with the custom room, you won't get the good camera experience. To get the good camera experience, you need a Google camera application and I have not seen any Gcam port which is fully functional. So keep this thing in mind before installing custom room. Another question is, hello sir, in OnePlus 12, after turning on AOD, still the lock screen display pops up again and again when any notification comes please tell me the solution so there is a setting which you can disable you just have to go to notification and status bar under more settings then tap on the lock screen and here you can see an option which i have disabled just disable it and your device screen will not wake up omit says when will oneplus nord 3 ce Lite get the new animation update i doubt that device will get and new control center new control center you might get to see Talking about locks and customization, yes, locks and customization will mostly start seeing after the Oxygen OS 14.1 builds. Another user says, is that the good decision buying iPhone 15 instead of OnePlus 12? See, if you give priorities to things like ecosystem, camera, and even the performance, then go with iPhone 15. Otherwise, OnePlus 12 is a very good option. Then another question is, nothing Phone 3 gets more update policy over three years. Update policy, not sure about that. We'll only get to know once the device is released because such type of announcements are only done during launch. The next question is, OnePlus, Realme, or Oppo ke phones mein RAM management kaafi kharaab hai. Chahe 6, 8, ya 16 GB ho. 16 GB mein se bhi 9 to 10 GB Android OS or system UI leta hai, jiske karan multitasking ho hi nahi paati hai. Koi solution hai RAM usage kam karne ka? Dekho, RAM usage aap kam nahi kar sakte but multitasking ke liye jo aap apps use karte ho one plus smartphones mein wo ek option hai un apps ko lock karne ka and zyada se zyada do hi application aap use kar sakte ho multitasking mein do applications ke liye to koi issue nahi hona chahiye personally zyada multitasking nahi kiya but jab bhi requirement hui hai aur maine kiya hai to mere ko koi issues dekhne ko nahi mile manoj says can we expect ios aod in oxygen os 15 like on screen display aod feature screen display aod feature i am doubtful that will be coming or not veena says 
nothing OS versus Oxygen OS, which one has more features and whom do you prefer using? See, I always prefer using OnePlus because I've been using OnePlus since a long time. So there's that slight biasness also. Nothing OS is good in terms of customization, Oxygen OS is better, but in terms of UI or you can say skin, nothing OS is better. Then Perth says why firmware flashing is required for custom rooms. Generally firmware flashing is required because it flashes kernel. The next question is from Lokesh who says can you tell us how to solve inconsistent battery issues on OnePlus 12. See I'm just waiting for OnePlus 12 new update. Once it is released then I'll do a in-depth review. That time I'll get to know battery issues. I'll keep you guys posted. Dot .802 build have already started rolling out and few users have already received it. Next user says phone update karna chahiye ya nahi. Yes obviously aapko phone har dam update karna chahiye security se related ya fir you know bug fixes se related and the last question is from Janil who says in oneplus 12 r while gaming in landscape mode if any call is going on certain area in the notification area is covered this making unable to touch in the top side of the display and the gaming is affected whether a device having same issue during normal or whatsapp calls please provide a solution there should not be any such issues because i do gaming a lot and in between whenever i get a call if i pick up i have never observed any kind of mistouch or you know a specific area not working let me know whether you use champion mode while gaming or not if you don't then try using champion mode hopefully that should solve the issue or else you can still let me know in the comment section so guys these were the questions which you guys asked me for the q a session and i hope i have covered everything if i've missed out any question do let me know in the comment section below this is a friend ashok signing out and see you guys in the next video